We came with heavy suitcases made from wooden boards by brothers we left behind. Came from Buchenwald and Katowice and before that Lvov, our mother's true home. Came with our tongues in tatters, our teeth in our pockets, hugging only ourselves. When you read about history in the history books, it's all so clear. The history books, for instance, tell you that World War II began on September 1st, 1939, when the Nazis invaded Poland, that the war in Europe ended almost six years later on May 8th, 1945. My father, Jan Guzowski, never went to school, never could read much beyond what he could read out of a prayer book. But he knew history. He had lived through history. He was a teenager working on his uncle's farm in Poland, captured by the Nazis in a roundup in 1940 and was taken to Germany. Like a lot of other Poles, he spent the next five years at hard labor in concentration and slave labor camps. He has his skin. He has a thinness to his eyes no bread will ever redeem. He has no belly and his long muscles stand out in relief as if they had been flayed. There is always the empty sea in his belly, rising, falling, and seeking land. And next to him, there's always another starving man who says, help me, brother, I am dying here. The war was always with him, and with my mother, Teresa Guzowski, too, a woman who spent two years in the slave labor camps in Germany and before that had seen the women in her family raped and murdered by the Germans. My mother learned that sex is bad. Men are worthless. It is always cold and there is never enough to eat. She learned that the world is a broken place where no birds sing and even angels cannot bear the sorrows God gives them. The trauma of what she had seen never left her. My parents knew that the war had always been with them, teaching them how to survive what would kill a person in the normal course of life. The war taught them that war had no beginning and no end. <laughs>